it still does work But yes, welcome back to the good old Southern IA. It's a Tuesday that feels like a Monday because of the three day weekend we just had. Hopefully everybody had a good holiday weekend. But down here in Southern Iowa, we're getting a little bit of rain. But unfortunately, when your fields of beans, these are some earlier 3-2 beans, have already turned, uh, we're not doing so great. Then we got a little bit later season beans on this side of the road, and then even later on that side. So that's, this rain's probably helping those beans out. The other two fields, not so much. So it kind of reminds me of that Toby Keith song. It's a little too late, they're a little too gone. They're a little too tired of hanging on. And they're wishing us best luck again next year. <laughs> oh man, singing made you guys fall over. Andrew's gonna have a hard time keeping up with the combine with that grain cart. How's the unloading system? Isn't it a tipper? It's a tipper. I thought it tipped. Does it tip backwards? Then do you shovel? What do you do? I don't know. That's up to Andrew. He's the operator. <laughs> Some good deer damage right there. Yeah, you should have seen them. It was this big one. There, there was only about 400 of them. <laughs> I knew there was something shady going on in here. Hey, what? What are you? What are you? You graffiti in our bed? No. Well, then what are you doing? Telling people to like the video. <laughs> yeah, probably there. You can kind of see where it's off a little bit. So the project at hand today on this rain day is, is that we are standing in the dryer bed. And when the corn dries, it pushes a lot of moisture up out of the ground or out of the corn. And it actually pushes it up and out through the roof, through these little vents and then the trough itself. For some reason, this metal has lost its galvanization. And when that corn's drying, we get actually corn that sticks to the wall and then it just rots. So we're gonna try and fix that by putting a primer coat on it and then we're gonna put some of that like grain cart easy slide onto here. So maybe just possibly we can fix this issue with the bin. That'll take three years to do this. So here's a little closer look at what's going on here. The corn like gets stuck to this bin and then now it's literally just started to rust out the metal a little bit. But if you guys have ever had anything like this happen to your bins, let me know in the comment section below what maybe you did to fix it and then also what you maybe do to prevent it. This is the only bin that we're, we have this going on in and it's because it's a dryer bin, I'm assuming. So I don't know if like power washing the inside of the bin every single year after you get done with your corn is what you gotta do. I don't know, who knows? Let me know. So Andrew's got our last can of primer right there. We're just gonna hit the rest of the bad spots as in the bad of the bad spots. And then we're gonna switch on over to this stuff right here. It's easy slide graphite base coating. Andrew actually painted the inside of the grain or the fertilizer cart the other day. It looks good. So that's what we're gonna get to next. You guys are going to see how much not of a painter I am, even though I did get hired to paint a fence once. It's amazing what you can do with a pair of pliers. Oh man, that's not the right color. <sighs> Gotta take it back. I said pink. I don't want pink. No. Oh. I want... Can we compromise and go with this color? Compromised. <laughs> There's just happy accidents. So say you put a up and down that you didn't want to be there, 
Uh, you just you just turn her into a good old happy tree. Just tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a. And then you decide, man, that tree that, that tree kind of looks a little a little lonely. So you decide, hey, we'll give it a view, and then you just paint it right next to a shoreline. And oh look, now it's got a view. It's on the shoreline. You know what? Be look good at the back of it. You just paint yourself a mountain. Oh, but that mountain, it's kind of chilly up on top, so we better add a little bit of snow. And this tree down here, you know, I, I kind of think that it needs a friend of a bush. So you add a couple of bushes, and then why, why not give it another, another little, a small apprentice, apprentice tree. We'll give it one of those, and this one will be a pine tree. So we gotta do it downwards. So there. And then we better put the put a few clouds up here. Maybe a little another ridge here. Make sure you give it a nice little run around. And then remember, no mistakes, only happy accidents when painting grain bins. Now, oh, dang it, I about forgot. There's always something else that he does. Whenever he clean out his brushes, you know, and he always had magical names of his colors like Syngenta Blues. And then he'd get his brush wet and he'd just go. Oh crap. <laughs> if you guys ever watch that, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I wish I could say just like that we're done, but it's definitely just, just like that we're done. That took about a whole day to do this. Yeah, you can sure tell the difference. Is like that is it's dry this area luckily I thought it might have been touched in the wet spot there but it's it's a lot slicker it's significantly slicker so we got the stair spot done there we went and did that whole bad spot right along this edge there hopefully that fixes it up let's see what else is on the list hey Andrew I think my dad's working on his alphabets but he might be stuck on Z. Snoozing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wayne. Hey, whoa, combine. So the last thing we're gonna do today is that I actually installed the egg leader monitoring system into this combine, the 9670. I need, I wanna use this mount. So I gotta do a little fabricating here so we can mount up the in-command 1200 up here and uh, that way we can pick corn with this combine this year. Hey, how'd that work? You know what they say about that right there? Jane. Oh, you only need one of them. Look at that. That's as tight as she goes. Oh, broke that one. What? Too much power. Too many lugs. You know what to say about that? What? Too long on the trigger. Too long on the trigger. <laughs> Too long on the trigger. Should fire up. If you go to uh, this and you do automatic, and then it kind of senses the light, mm -hmm. and it's not like, oh, nighttime, you need to be as bright as you can be, see, yeah, yeah. see nothing. So, before we call it for a video for the day, Bane and I decided we ought to come out here and show you guys the sorghum that we planted uh, a while back this summer. But well, that's pretty cool. I've never planted sorghum before and now there's a field of sorghum here. This is for the deer. The deer should like this. The birds will like this. This will be a great winter feed for them. It's part of one of the leases that I have that I have to feed the wildlife. And uh, I'm feeding them with sorghum this year. So... Pretty proud of myself about this one.
But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you haven't yet, hit that like button for us. That supports the channel. And I think I'm going to set myself a goal for 30,000 subscribers by the end of harvest, which might be starting here in a week or so. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? It's fun. It's free. Get to it. See you the next time down here in the Southern IA. I apparently got the world's toughest spray cane, like, top. Oh, that was a good I was going to offer to do it for you. Yeah. You know, like the, hey, honey, open my spray paint can. <laughs> like, like you give the, like the jar of spaghetti sauce brought to you and you're like, yeah, strong man, I'm going to open this. And then you grab it and you sit there and you kind of do the muscle warm up and then you go. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that doesn't happen to me. I, I assume that happens to you, though, right? No, I just get it on the first twist. It's like when I look at the spaghetti jar, it's like I just look at it, and that little button on top tells it's been opened. It just goes, I'm like, it's open, babe. I looked at it, and it goes, it's open. It's open, babe.